All right, guys, so this is my 1990 300ZX uh, NATT conversion. Um, today, we're going to be installing the famous Godspeed eBay turbos just to kind of test them out, see how far we get with them. Uh, these were roughly around like 600 bucks, right? That's about how much Yeah. Time? And uh, we're going to try them out, see how much they last. Nothing special about the car for about three grand. Uh, previous owner had invested quite a bit on it. It's just aftermarket parts. It's got like an aftermarket radiator, aftermarket drive shaft from Z1. Coilovers. Tain coilovers. It's got a boost controller, G ready. Uh, just a bunch of little things here and there. But it was smoking. It does have a fourth gear grind that we got to work out but it's a project car so can be perfect right off the bat paint is about maybe 70 percent it's kind of rough but it'll do yeah it's got rust so but we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna send it <laughs> I mean, the main objective is to test them out, see how reliable they are, um, you know, for certain people to give them peace of mind on spending 600 bucks for Chinese turbos. Yeah, we figured, hey, we'll just throw them in and see, see what they do. I have ran them in the past. Um, I did have mine rebuilt with Garrett parts by Chris Robbins at Turbo R Us. Um, I think at the time I had a high compression engine, E85, single intake, just intercoolers and two and a half inch exhaust and it made 575 to the wheel um, and that was just on a baseline tune. Yeah, so hopefully these will make around 500-ish. 600 would be boss, but I mean, I'd be happy with 550, 500. But, all right, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is the stock turbo and this is the eBay turbo, the Godspeed. This is a little comparison. All right, so Dragon, you're gonna explain why people don't fit these right off the bat. Yeah, so a lot of the times where you have issues is your wastegate actuator hits this ridge right here, the support for the passenger side motor mount. And when you try to made it up to the flange you have clearance issues over here so you're bumping into the mount on this side and you come nowhere near to line up your bolt holes so what, what is the solution to that what everyone has to do is uh you can grind it down it involves removing the mount um shaving away then from there you just take it off put it back on take it off put it back on until you have no clearance issues so this is where it bumps it bumps right here and it bumps right here and if you can see we're about half an inch away from lining up the bolt holes 
Another thing you can do too is mount your turbo where it needs to be. And if you've removed your motor mount, you can place it where it needs to be. And then from there you can grind away, put it back, grind away, you know, until you get it right. Now, with your modified mount, we're lined up. So all I had to remove was the ridge that was right here. And it still has a lot more structural integrity, so you don't have to worry about it breaking. I've seen uh, several motor mounts with way more material removed than this and they've held up fine No clearance issues Now these are how much of an upgrade over stock what size are the stock turbos? Well the stocker T22 slash T25 these are considered T28s. They're the equivalent of the JWT Sport 600s, except these are not ball bearing and they're pretty much generic in every way possible. Well, they are for me, Besa. <laughs> Alright, so. So it's fully on there now. So one of the issues a lot of people have with this, these turbos is the wastegate rod clearance. Try to point it back there. Well, if you can see the rod, it sits right above the oil filter tree. And what you want to verify is that it's not making contact because if it does, when you're driving down the road, going full boost or however you drive, um, you can cause your wastegate rod to stick in the open position and you won't be building any boost. And you're going to get on twinturbo.net or the Facebook group and ask everybody what's wrong with your car, it's not building boost. And that's probably one of the reasons why. And if you do have issues with that, you have two options. One of the options is to slightly shave the top of the oil filter tree, just a small amount, don't go crazy. The other thing you can do is loosen these 13 millimeter bolts, clock your compressor wheel down, and that would cause your wastegate actuator to go upwards, and that rod will also go up, and you'll have more clearance back there. Um, when you do that, you have to verify that once you put your coupler here, you have enough clearance to put your turbo outlet pipes. So that's one thing to be mindful about. And the other thing, when you do clock your compressor wheel, your compressor housing, you're gonna be throwing off your synchronization for your wastegates, so you would have to T them both in, connect both vacuum lines to a T, apply air pressure to both of them, and make sure that they're cracking at the same exact time. 
one of the ways you can do that is stick a little piece of rope or a piece of paper have it in the open position um, put a string or a little rope underneath it and hold them together in one hand and as you apply pressure whichever one releases first well if one releases faster than the other one that's an indication that they're not synchronized so you have to adjust these rods there is a locking nut and what you have to do is remove your c-clip it's located right here on the shaft you remove that you separate it from this wastegate arm and you rotate it inward or outward to give you stiffer or looser tension on your bracket or on your wastegate <clears throat> um, but those are the only two issues you, ha you should have with this passenger side turbo, which would be your passenger side motor mount and your wastegate clearance. And then as a general rule of thumb, before you put any turbos in a car with your engine out, you just want to make sure your wastegates are synchronized because that'll cause slower spool up times um one turbo would be working harder than the other granted you do have the balance tube on your intake plenum but that could only compensate for so much the other thing with these godspeed wastegate actuators is you only want to run the port on the top side. The port on the bottom side is um, you block it off. These are dual port wastegate actuators, but the majority of the people, the second port doesn't even work. It just leaks out the back of the diaphragm. So it's just to eliminate, eliminate any issues, you just block it off and you, you run your wastegate signal hose to the top. So what is your take on people putting Godspeeds on these VG? They're fucking stupid. <laughs> no. I get that the majority of the people don't have two to three thousand dollars to spend on a fancy set of turbos aka me so with this one guys we're just basically just throwing together just a quick budget low budget build um like i said we bought bought the car for like three grand and we're just like oh let's see how how we can spend as little as money as we can and make it go fast um, the advantage we have is that we're mechanically inclined, we have all the tools, we have spare parts, everything that can go wrong, we have a backup plan, the motor blows, we have several blocks, if a turbo goes, we can easily get another replacement, these are still, these still have a full year of warranty left. Um, so that is, that is one thing when you buy the Godspeeds, you got to make sure the seller gives you warranty. Yes. Um, a lot of them, they sell them, or if you buy them from other people, you can buy them for like 400 bucks, but you won't have the warranty to back you up, pretty much. And I have had success swapping them out in the past when they um, met their demise. Yeah, but I mean, we're not like sponsored by Godspeed or anything we're just like, yes this is just this is just us you know throwing it together and testing out what happens and how it runs and how long we can run it for and we're always involved mm -hmm. in installing them pretty much but don't think that we're like you know trying to advertise Godspeed but if you're in need because we know how Z's are and turbos are one of the first things that you know they go out so 
if you're in need for a quick setup that'll get you going and it'll get you going a lot faster than stock uh, then these are a pretty good option yeah but all right we'll keep y'all posted